So in this video, I would like to show you how the how actually the um, copper metal uh, react with the concentrated nitrate acid. Well, concentrated nitrate acid is as known as a strong oxidizing agent. That means it can oxidize others very easily. So let's look at it. Okay, the color of concentrated nitrate acid simply is colorless. And then this time we have copper metal. Copper metal, in as we have learned in the um, in the topic of acid and alkali, we know that actually copper cannot react with acids. Most of the acids cannot react with copper, but except nitric acid. This time we have a concentrated nitric acid and see what would happen though. So I have a piece of nitric acid. Uh, I mean, I mean, I have a bot. I have a tube of nitric acid, and I put a piece of copper into it now. Let's see what will happen. As soon as I put it into the acid, you notice the color of the solution turns green. Well, the green color comes from the ions of copper. Uh, as we know, copper, <laughs> copper. Two iron actually uh, can give us a, a purple, I mean, uh, give us green or blue color. But though this one is rather interesting. Most of the time, the copper two ions are in blue color, but when it is coordinated tightly with nitrate iron or with some other ions, when they coordinate tightly, then they will give us a very beautiful green color. And you notice there's some brown gas that appeared right about the surface. That one is the nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is extremely toxic and extremely uh, uh, is highly water soluble. Uh, so we know nitrogen dioxide is one of the uh, pollutants, the uh, pollutant gas in the air. And how can we obtain a blue color? A uh, very traditional blue color of copper two iron. So simply, we can add water into it. Firstly, adding water is to dissolve those nitrogen dioxide. We can remove those nitrogen dioxide by adding a little bit more water, or displacing those nitrogen dioxide because nitrogen dioxide itself is highly dense. I, I mean, the density is high. Okay, so we add water then simply we're pushing those um, nitrogen dioxide gas away so you notice after adding some water those uh, brown gas disappear and you notice once we add some water into it the upper part become a little blue uh, a little bit blue and the lower part is still uh, green because the concentration of water uh, staying above I mean, uh, most of the water are staying at the upper part so you notice but once we add um, more water, the blue color become more visible. Okay, at the, at the upper part. Okay, and the lower part is still green. So let's do some shaking, some mixing of solutions. Okay, so we mix them. Mixing of solutions, mixing it well, so more um, the color of the solution become blue, uh, bluer. If you like, so the green color still staying at the bottom, okay? Because we have I have added too much water. Anyway, but well, while I'm shaking, we are making the reaction more complete. That's why you can still see some brown gas coming up, right? about the solution so so mixing that well okay eventually we mix we get all the, the whole solution well mixed and at the end you notice all the color the whole test tube become blue all the solutions become blue so this is how it worked can you write the chemical equation for the reaction between copper and concentrated nitric acid? I bet you can. <laughs>